Hey, welcome to my website. You found your way to my about page if you're watching this video. And I'm Ben and I'm a web developer. And I wanted to just tell you a little bit about myself uh, since you've taken the time to watch this video and spent some time on my website. Uh, so, that being said, a little bit about me. I currently work as a web developer uh, professionally for an e-commerce website. Um, it is mostly PHP programming, um, basically pretty highly customized uh, WordPress, WooCommerce uh, platform, and uh, also, some JavaScript Node.js applications that run kind of in support of the business to automate different things uh, having to do with uh, order processing and batch sales, different stuff like that. Um, SEO rankings, all, all kinds of different stuff, because really, I'm, I'd say I'm more primarily a JavaScript programmer in that uh, I'd rather be coding React or a Node.js application than working on PHP. Uh, but this is the job I got. It's my first job uh, outside of freelance work. Um, so I, I wasn't about to turn it down. And... I got into coding a little bit later in life. Uh, so I'm 40 currently, I just turned 40 uh, literally uh, last week. And I didn't even start coding uh, as an adult until I was about 35, maybe 34, but mid 30s. Um, I, had, I know I had coded an HTML website in high school back in the late 90s. On, I, I forget the name, maybe the GeoCities platform or something like that. I don't even know if that still exists. GeoCities web platform. Yahoo GeoCities. What was GeoCities and how can you view it today? So whatever it was is gone. Remembering GeoCities. Cities in the 1990s precursor to social media. Yeah, I guess it kind of was you could go on and you basically create your own website. Uh, instead of having the social media do it all for you, you had to make everything yourself. You had to make your whole entire page with HTML code. And I remember I made one making fun of my Spanish teacher when I was a junior or a senior in high school. So I've been like 98, 99. But I never touched it after that. And uh, it's weird, I was always really good at uh, what they call the STEM fields now. But it was math and science, they called it back then, I think. And uh, I just never got into it. I was actually working uh, what I consider to be underachieving, but life circumstances, you need to get a job and uh, from a small town. And uh, I was working basically in restaurants. I worked in uh, making pizzas in an Italian restaurant uh, for most of my uh, 20s and even into my early 30s before uh, I stopped. And I was just looking at salaries.com for basically what I was was a fast food cook. I would tell people uh, I was a pizza chef or I guess there is a little bit you could maybe consider yourself having some more skill than a fast food chef. But then again, I don't never been, I never worked at a McDonald's or anything like that. So I don't know, maybe, maybe that's not true. Maybe like pizza chefs, I could toss a pizza. Maybe I it was the same thing. Uh, with a median salary of 21,000. Uh, so I guess I made a little bit more of that, but not a meaningful amount more than that. And then even if you look up web developer, I believe this is, uh, 
Web developer level one. 64,000. So yeah, that's, yeah, uh, that's right around what I make. Uh, currently, I know there's higher paid jobs out there. And I do think I should be paid more for what I do. But I make a lot more than I used to. And uh, I'm about two years in uh, with this current job. It, it's a small, you know, it's an e-commerce business, but it's a small business. It's not a giant, a tech giant by any stretch. Uh, but at my old job, I did have this nagging feeling that I could do more. I was bored at work and I just, I was like, you know, you always hear, well, you can do what you love and you know, it'll never be like work. And I was just like, yeah, okay, well, I'm stuck here making pizzas. Um, and one day I just came across a YouTube video for one of these code schools, I think it is called Code School. Uh, see, if that's still around. That was before I disabled the ads on YouTube and figured all that out. But uh, that's all I would do is just watch YouTube. That was my uh, go on social media a little bit. That was my computer use level at the time. It wasn't like I was in a computer related. I didn't go on the computer at all. Uh, I was on my feet all day in uh, an extra hot oven. Plural site code school. What's that? Uh, this does not look like the site that I found, but that's not really that important. Oh, maybe it's this one. Looks a little more like it, but I still don't think that's it doesn't matter uh, I didn't really I just took a couple courses and uh, I was like I don't know how to do any of this this is all crazy there's so many coding layers oh my god uh, but I did get hooked on it and eventually that led to places like free code camp which I think is pretty good for uh, onboarding uh, especially JavaScript I think they have some other stuff now too HTML CSS um, and I ended up taking some Udemy courses. Udemy's pretty good. Uh, good tutorials. Uh, and then I did go to uh, Western Governors University. Uh, WGU Software Development Platform. And I believe now they even offer... Uh, a computer science, which they did not offer when I went, or I would have taken that because uh, I would have liked the more hardcore math and computer stuff. Uh, but very affordable online university. Uh, all you could take six month blocks for about, I think, three grand when I did it. Now it's about 3,500, but take as many classes as you could pass in a six month period. Really good deal. Uh, so I graduated there. And that still took me a full year to get a job of applying. It's hard to get a job without experience or connections. But I had some freelance work. I was going to make a little money. And I had saved money for my uh, job at a restaurant. But uh, that's pretty much my story. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the content of the blog. Uh, I'll try to bring in as many real world examples as I can stuff that I've actually used on the job or and, uh, that's been effective in e-commerce um, because uh, there's a lot going on every day. Uh, and that's my goal, have something useful that somebody can read and apply on their quest, their journey uh, to become a web developer. So. Drop me a line, sign up for the newsletter, leave a comment, and uh, thanks for reading and watching.